What's up Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you guys today. I hope you are all doing well and staying safe. And here's a bit of lockdown entertainment for you, you know, keep you guys going. So it's a 3v3 Rome 2 Siege as already stated. Oh, as a shot comes in and hits uh, some Thorax Swords. Okay, so we have the Seleucids. Rome and the Arverni against some interesting defenders. We've got Colchis, who I rarely ever see uh, being used, but it's good to see them on the battlefield. We have the Boei and we have the Ardei. So we have some like some very strong factions up against what you'd say probably like lower tier, like mid tier factions, I'd say. Like, but yeah, so we have uh, some Gallic hunters straight away burning a uh, Greek Bliss, getting rid of that. That's a really good play there by the. Uh, I've only played. Just get rid of this uh, blister so it can't do any more damage to all his uh, troops. This uh, was sent in by the Arverni player, uh, who is a member of the Discord and uh, obviously a sub. So if you want to uh, obviously have your ch uh, have your battles feature on the uh, channel and possibly well anyway possibly feature on the channel, I get quite a few at the moment. Um, then please do join the Discord, which is in the description down below, and. Uh, also subscribe as well if you not haven't already I mean we're trying to hit 1400 subs uh, at the end of the month I think we could do it we might be able to do it and uh, yeah let's uh, let's see what happens in this battle I hear it's quite a good one and as another what's happened to the crew for this has it died already no it's hidden I'm not quite sure where are oh, there in the woods okay it's hidden in the woods as uh, some siege towers come forward, I was expecting a sally to be honest, but it doesn't look like we're going to have one. Uh, we've got thorax swords, we've got hillman, we've got evercarty uh, cohorts, so that's very strong obviously from Rome. Rome you expect to do quite well against uh, Colchis. And then we have the Arverni over here, he's not doing actually anything yet, he's not sending anything forward just yet. We have uh, Celtic Heavy Onager, I'm not quite sure. What he's going to knock down exactly. If you just set up some stuff, he could probably take this wall. I guess he could knock a hole in the wall so he could get his onager through. Otherwise, he's got a long route to take it. Looks like the uh, of the Ariadai, sorry, is uh, getting ready to defend this uh, defense here. This little uh, capture point. Not a bad idea. Not much I can see at the moment. It's just kind of like that. It's that early stage. It's that early stage. But I hope you guys are all. Yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I mean, I'm. Starting to get a little, uh, hope you're not getting bored like me and stuck inside as we've got like a small little hit here from Med. Oh, that was a really good hit from the Median, on the Median Cavalry. Um, clearly using manual fire and like doing it really, really quickly, um, because obviously it's kind of broken in Rome 2. <laughs> can kind of just like get abilities to look, look at this auto fire just so fast. Um, so the Median Cavalry area is, uh, been focused down along with uh, a unit of thorax swords but it's like acceptable losses it's you've just got to accept it's going to happen that was a poor miss from the uh, caucus player there but we will see what happens in a moment look at it look that is just ridiculous what angle that can fire at oh but i mean yeah i mean that uh, unit of thorax swords now at one two uh one two six not not great at all Set up already. Um, lots of uh, troops positioned here already. It would see they clearly look like they're gonna not hold the walls, but hold like straight off the walls. Gonna hand over the towers. Oh, they got some fiery balls of justice here and some barricades. The barricades obviously won't do much, but these fiery balls of justice might. And it looks like it might be a unit of Colchis, uh nobles or Colchian nobles that's gonna have to do the job if they do decide to actually mobilize. I'm quite interested to see how Colchis does. Uh, it's not got a great roster. Um, it's not got many great swords. It's... Colchian Nobles are probably by far its best unit. But we will see. And it looks like a Hillman are coming up. No Hillman spam from Seleucids. I'm quite upset. Um, if you haven't seen that that uh, battle, um, there's like a Hillman spam. I'm sure I'll leave a link for it somewhere. Either at the end or now. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice... Siege battle, and here comes in some slingers firing as this poor Hillman unit gets absolutely obliterated by Javis. And then they get charged by some uh, Cartley Axemen, I'm pretty sure these guys are. Same unit that Armenia can bring. Oh no, they're just Axemen, they're just Axemen, okay. They look exactly like the Cartley Axemen. 
We have Thorax Swords uh, now joining on the walls. What have we got here? We've got some more Hillmen. Hillmen actually might be enough to probably beat some of these uh, Colchis units, but certainly not the Colchian Nobles. Rome needs to be careful and just quickly capture this. Uh, these Fireballs of Justice. He wants to be very careful. I mean, it's, it, he won't lose too many men. Oh, there's another one over here already as well. Um, but he just needs to be careful. Alverni, on the other hand, taking his merry old time and getting forward. Quite happy just to... Uh, well, I guess he's on his own, but he probably wants to attack at the same time. So these two armies over here don't get focused on. Seleucids is in. Rome's just about to join. He's finally got some Evercati up here. But yeah, if these guys can take this uh, this point here, there's a little gap they can certainly squeeze through there. I'd definitely be wanting to do that at some point. Um, maybe after this, Colkin Nobles is like a bit more beaten up but they, because they've got plenty of reserves here. They've got Axe Warriors. They've got Carly Axemen. Oh, they do have Carly Axemen then. I thought they did. They do look excellent. Man with his uh, ram horns. They're going to... No, neither... Okay, actually, no. The Colchian nobles are going to go in against these axemen. So the first, like, proper... I'd say proper infantry clash. I mean, the hillman over the other side didn't really get a choice in the, in the event. They were off the walls and straight into a wall of slingers and javis. But yeah, so I think... The Bowie Eyes realized this little hole in the line here. And he's got a unit of sword followers ready. These guys look excellent. I like their little caps. Like, look at this guy's little cap. What is that? That's not going to protect you. It's like a World War I sort of helmet almost. Getting ready to go over the top, the Bowie Eye are. Yeah, so it looks like uh, I'd say the Colkey Noble's going to win this pretty convincingly. Hillman aren't going to persuade anyone uh, through a choke point here but yeah as you can see already and also they need to just remember to the attackers that this isn't indestructible you can walk through these shacks so they could get a unit through and uh, yeah I would certainly be sending up some Roman stiff in the line with some uh, proper Roman steel we have uh, some thoracic swords losing here actually this is though bad from the axemen they have just javied so many of the Roman in the back actually well that guy was certainly Seleucid, but they probably javied a lot of their own men in the back here doing that. A lot of friendly fire, and the Bowie Eye is getting a unit around to surround this Seleucid unit. I wouldn't bother. This unit is going to lose anyway. So, oh, there's another unit coming up. Okay, another unit of Thorax Swords. So, we'll see what happens. Can the mid-tier can the mid -tier armies beat the high-tier armies? Let's find out. As the Romans are now engaging, we now have some uh, Evercati in here. As the hillmen just run through, just like, don't mind us, coming through, excuse me. You're running the wrong way as well, hillmen, run back that way, back to your drone lines. But yeah, I think these Colchian nobles, oh, they're winning actually, they are winning. Probably because they're in hot black formation. Given, I mean, the Romans haven't lost a single man, though, in fairness. Um, over here, yeah, losing decisively. Axe Warrior's been sent in. I'd be attacking over here if I was Rome as well. You could certainly attack hit up here. Just avoid, like, these fiery balls of justice. Um, they're just going to roll down here. It's a very small area. If you just attack here, there's one unit of two units of hot plates, which are poor. Uh, in comparison to Evercati, and there's only one unit of archers or slingers. You could definitely fo uh, focus this area down. Also, just opens another way up to attack, because otherwise they could just defend this one choke point here, and then they've got you in a nice little kill box. So they certainly need to get these Evercati up onto the wall and doing more stuff. It's a bit, f a bit frustrating when uh, you're watching a replay and you're seeing something that an a player should do, and you just desperately want to message them. But then you remember that you're in the future and there you're watching something that happened in the past. But look at this shot. I love this. The sun beating down. I mean, these guys are slightly in the shade, but the sun is also sort of beating down. Bounce off the armor. Looks awesome. I love the helmets for these uh, Colky Nobles. Look at that. They are awesome. Let's get a bit closer to see them. Look at that. Oh, okay. I was probably better where I was, but... They, are, they look awesome. They do look awesome. See this? Evercai uh, cohort. Not a bad idea. Just throwing Javis in. But go and attack over there, please. Uh, how's the Alverni doing? Is he landed? 
The Arverni has landed now. Okay, and uh, oh my gosh, she's been met by an entire army of Ariadai. Yeah, um, this could be unfortunate, I think, for the Arverni. Because the Ariadai is a strong faction. Chosen swords up against the Illyrian noble uh, hoplite, so it could be interesting. And see, look at this. This is a bad place to attack. Um, if I was the Arverni, I would have probably attacked around, like, somewhere around here. This is just a better area. More, uh, yeah, more areas to sort of attack. You can attack up here, you can attack here. This is a hard settlement to attack. Uh, certainly Rome and the Seleucids got the better wall uh, to take, but I wouldn't be firing fire arrows either. I would just be firing normal. I wouldn't bother firing at these Illyrian nobles. But yeah, so it's going to be pretty hard. Um, but he's got, he's certainly got the capability. He's got um, Oathsworn, he's got Chosen Swords here. Swords against Spears, eventually they should win overall. I mean, these are Illy Illyrian uh, hoplites, so they could be really good. Well, they are very good. I know that from a fact. Um, but it's just whether... Um, whether the, the Arverni can kill enough of the men. Well, that's all they need to do, kill enough so that... The Aridai can't then, like, go over here and make a big difference. Because I'd say Rome should be able to... Certainly Rome should be able to carve through some of these uh, units. I mean, this Epicari unit is actually losing now. That's a concern. Um, but yeah, I mean, this Roman... Just go this way. Go this way. The Seleucids and Roman are attacking literally through two choke points currently right now. Um, a bit unfortunate. Celtic Warriors here. This is... Again, this is a unit they definitely want to be desperately pushing against. They also should probably be taking a, a leaf out of the Boyai's book and going around on, on the walls, go around, surround some of these guys. Just make it a bit harder. Thorax Swords, they should win this fight pretty easily. Then again, it's Thorax Sword, so I've seen them do worse. Uh, Artillery over here is focusing down some Colkian nobles, and it's trying to hit some Eastern Singers. Not a bad target. I guess if you hit this one and you miss, you go through and hit the next. Um, but I'd certainly be leaving this for... Yeah, he's like only hitting like one or two guys. I'd be waiting until like there's a real big blob up. Like, someone over here, like this, is a good target. There's so many men here. Look at Rome, though. Rome is just carving a path through. He's getting absolutely jabbied for his... Uh, as well. For his crimes of pushing through, well, not pushing through, but breaking through. Look at that. I must have seen, like, since I've been here, at least, like, 15, 20 Romans just die. And they've still got more Javis. Look at this. Oh, no. I'm kind of waiting. Can we, have a, can we have a volley? Yeah, there you go. Another about five or six just dropped down dead. And I mean, yeah, they actually did break that Bowie Eye unit, but this unit was on, like, I don't know, 80, 90, and it's down to 50. But yeah, if they can surround this quick, quickly surround this Colkian noble unit, that's great. But they can't. They're getting quickly engaged. But Rome doesn't need to send more in. Rome's got ample amount of troops in here. He's got ample amount of troops outside. He's got more Evercarty cohort. Yeah, he's just brought an Evercarty cohort spam, which is a good, a good tactic for Rome. Um, a solid unit that you can just bring a load of. I would certainly be just going this way. Just go this way. Um, please, I beg. I mean, in fairness, if you put one unit here and Colchis is putting three units to just keep an eye on you, then that's a win for you, I guess. But it's just another way to pressure them. And like Colchis and then Bowie, I need to actually do more micro. Because I'm sure Colchis and Bowie, I have plenty of troops they can just put into this one choke point. Rome's definitely not got the amount of men to do it. Some good arrow uh, focusing down here from uh, archers. We've got some Sy Persian light archers. Sorry. I presume it's Syrians because um, Seleucids can bring Syrians and they're better, <laughs> basically. And they're focusing down um, some Celtic bowmen. Not a bad idea. Take these bows out. Um, that's only obviously a weakness of the Celtic factions. They have pretty weak bows, so you might as well just take their bows out, not allow them to use them. Over here, um, yeah, Arverni's having a really rough time. Really rough time. Fighting off in the forest over here. With the Ariadai. What have we got here? I've not seen this unit. Oh, Mercenary Axe Warriors. We've got more Celtics fighting. We've got Celtic Warriors fighting against Celtic Warriors. Brother fighting father. 
No, brother not brother fighting father. Brother fighting brother. Father fighting son. Oh dear. That's uh, a major brain fart there. Brother fighting father would just be just uh, brother versus brother, surely. Like uncle versus father. I'm not sure. That's what happens uh, <laughs> when you when your brain breaks. Just all sense of uh, normality is gone. Yeah, I mean this looks pretty damn awesome. I'm loving like the sun just shining down here. Oh, this game when it wa when it wants to be beautiful, it can be. As a man just got gets like stabbed in the neck. Beautiful, beautiful. Round of applause. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, it looks like that Chosen Swordman unit, yeah, is breaking. We've got two units of Illyrian Noble, Hoplites just falling back. Um, I'd say Aridai's in a pretty, pretty sticky spot. I'd be taking a bit slower. Now I'd be getting up my artillery. I'd be starting to focus down blobs. And I'd just be shooting people with uh, archers. I'd get most of my army to here. I'd be shooting archers. I won't be shooting fire arrows now. I'd be shooting normal arrows. And just trying to whistle down some units before I go in again. Because it clearly what the Alverni is doing currently right now is not working. Uh, and whatever Kai came onto the walls. Uh, they don't need more men on the walls. I mean, it's great that they're on the walls. But what they need right now is to make push-throughs here. Make push-throughs here. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying it until he does it. Uh, and this is also a big no-no. I don't think the Sluices really need more troops in here. They've got two units of... Uh, Thorax swords in here. They actually probably could get a gap through here. They pushed these guys back so far they could get a gap through here. And then they could get a way through. Because look, you don't need to see more in, more in because if you send more in, they send more in. You just don't... That's not really what you want right now. They've got blobs. You also blobbing just makes it easy for their archers and archer towers. They are actually breaking through. Okay. Wow, they have uh, fully broken through. Well, not fully, but there's a unit of Kolkian nobles. Yeah, see, now you don't need three units focusing down here because they're just going to fire into your side with Javis, and this is going to be just like it was in um, with the Romans. We've got Silver, Shord, Silver Shield Swordsman already up. That's concerning. That means, yeah, I mean, the Seleucus is almost out of uh, infantry. They've got more Silver Shields to go up. They've got Cavalry. I don't know why they brought Cavalry. It was clearly a big mistake. Um, he's got Pikes as well. But I wouldn't say the Bowie Eye or uh, Hulkers has lost massive amounts. Some of these, I think they've lost like a couple of Colchis nobles and that's it. Um, Colchian nobles, I should say. But look at this front line. This is uh, excellent. Look at that guy, he's got like blood on his eye. You need to wipe your eye, man. There we go, finally Rome's going to attack over here. They need to just, this needed to happen a long time ago. But um, yeah, this is a very good angle from uh, the slingers here. They're going to just be able to focus into the side of these Evercati cohort, which is still winning. But see, like, Evercati cohort just munch up hot plights. Hot plights are just no match. And then these sword followers, they're not going to be enough. Kyle the Axeman probably won't be enough either. They need Colkin nobles over here, and they've committed all of them over here to fight uh, the Sluices and the other bit of Rome. But yeah, good little uh, sneak through here. Now push it on. Press the advantage. Press the advantage, Rome. Oh, no. Don't just Javi. Don't just stand there and Javi. Everyone can stand there and Javi. Just get in there and fight. You're just getting shot by uh, Slingers now. Okay, finally. The Bowie Eye is going to do the job for Rome. Save them from getting shot. Be a lot easier. Um... But yeah, I wouldn't send more Roman units up. I'd keep them now hidden back here so they just can't get shot by slingers because there's no need. Actually, this is not a bad spot here, yeah. Hopefully Rome's seen this. Yeah, he has. And he's going to try and sneak through. And this unit of Cartley Axeman is now going to have to come into the fray. Another good Javi throw. And the Romans are through. Ever so slightly. But that's going to put even more pressure on this uh, hot plate unit, which is still losing decisively. And this is the main concern here. Um... Bowie Eye needs to get a sword follow unit up here straight away. These uh, hot plates are about to break through. If I was Rome, I'd be heavily pressing over here. You just got to keep supplementing stuff in here now. Just keep it, you know, just keep the uh, 
Bowiei and Colchis armies happy and, you know, supplied with men to kill. Because this is going to be so hard to break through, but... If they just get their archers up here as well, actually, yeah, get their archers up here. They could probably focus on a lot of these men. Just, yeah, keep... Like, let these units die now that are fighting on this front. Let these two units of Evercarty be the new front line. And then just shoot them. They've got cavalry of their own as well. They need to take a gate to get this cavalry inside. Otherwise, they're in real trouble. Okay, they're finally firing their arrows, but it's not on their own front. It's now shooting on supporting the Seleucids. I mean, the Seleucids, I think, went in first, died first. It's no surprise. Oh, it was a nasty jabby throw. Um, yeah, as, like, sword forwards come in to just flank and seal the fate of these uh, silver shield uh, swordsmen. They're one of the most elite units in the game. And, well, certainly it's the most elite for the Seleucids. But surrounded, any unit will eventually break. There's a mess of men in here. It's such a mess. Um, let's, let's see Rome. How's it doing? It's nearly through. It actually is nearly through. A small unit of Colkin nobles holding these guys back. Oh my gosh, yeah, they flanked round. Oh, okay, Rome might break through. Rome might break through. What's he got here? More Colkin nobles. He needs them really over here. Rome has sword presses advantage here. Sword, sword followers are now uh, obviously winning this fight. But yeah, Rome can just flank round with ease. Um, Arverni, on the other hand, how's he doing? Yeah, he's still having a bit of a, a tough time. Tough old time. What's he got here? He's got naked warriors now coming up. They're certainly not going to make a massive difference. He's just got to commit everything. Just drop as many people into the siege towers as possible. Um, and yeah, he's doing the right thing by just shooting as many of these Illyrian nobles as possible. Let them blob up. But I mean... The Aridai's got a lot of reserves. Look at all this. Mercenary Axe Warriors. Uh, Illyrian Marines, which aren't probably the best. I'm surprised he didn't send them in first. Mercenary Axe Warriors. Oh! Artillery. Good, good, good. Is that trying to hit his Axe Warriors or something like that? Or his uh, Archers, possibly. Slave Sling is not great again. But this is good. This is a good sign. They're starting to break some stuff over here of Aridai's. Oh, we have a little bit of a. A little bit of lag there. I'm not quite sure why. But yeah, they're celebrating even though the the unit next to them is breaking. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't start celebrating just yet, guys. What's this unit that they've got in here? Is this Marines? Uh, they've got Axe Warriors in here. So these are still actually mercenary Axe Warriors, apparently. They look more like. Uh, Oh no, the Peltas, it's the Peltas. Oh, I thought there was something that looked like Thorax Swords a bit. But it's just Peltas. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Celts coming in now, and Naked Swords coming in. This is actually probably a good time for them to come in. I would have, actually no, I wouldn't have landed them here because they had so many units freed up. I'd start shooting these guys, but they're just going to stand here and just, like, yeah. Just as I say that, the Ar uh, Arverni's going to go and do it. Big concern over here, though. Looks like Rome is slowly breaking through over here. It's a big concern because it's so slow. <laughs> For the attackers, that's a, probably a big concern. They're running out of men. They really could do with a, a breakthrough somewhere. They sort of, they actually have broken through here. Wow, look at the amount of bodies here, though. This is where the Seleucid army came and died. It just literally... I don't know what he was doing. He should have just like sent up more archers first, um, been a bit more tensive. He could have got his ballista up and actually made a breach, and that would probably have been a good idea instead of just shooting like infantry from a small area. They had fireballs just as ready here. Wow, these guys were uh, were ready and prepared. We've got uh, archers firing in here. This is not a good. This is not a bad angle at all. This is a, what you need to do. You need to just get your angles for archers, and they'll rack up kills. And that's a really good angle, right? Directly into the side of these uh, Bowie Eye infantry and, more importantly, the uh, Colkian nobles in behind. Oh, do apologize. But, I mean, look at that. Oh, all bloodied up. Yeah, and these guys can focus down. And that sword follow unit, that's basically gone. It's Colkian nobles that I'd start to focus down on. Um, yeah, I'd stop following on, f uh, shooting those guys. They're, they're basically gone. Evercarty, though, are making some... Yeah, I get this unit around here. This unit needs... This Rome needs to push through here, quick. Surround this uh, this sword followers. 
which is actually routing. It's shattered, but it doesn't actually say it's... Oh, no. Maybe it's not. There's another one in there that's shattered. Um, but this one, I mean, is still not doing well. Just... But they are actually doing quite well now. They've actually pushed through. I mean, the sluices are gone, though. That's the, diff the problem. If they can get the... Yeah, good idea. Take the take this. Take the towers. Um, the cavalry certainly is going to be needed. But balance power is not looking good in their favor. Um, it's mainly because the Iodai has got so much of his army left. He's going to have to send a lot of his own troops over to help uh, with Rome and... And against the uh, Seleucids. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, Arverni's just got to... If you can occupy... Arya die and keep him here, keep all his army fixed on him, then they could possibly break through. I mean, Bo oh, I say this, Bowie Eyes just like mobilized so many more men, and these are sword followers. I assume he's probably got Oath Sworn as well somewhere in here. Celtic bows, yeah, oh my gosh, he's got so much left. I mean, Rome's got quite a lot left, but a lot of his cohorts are beaten up. It's gonna be close, it's gonna be close, I'd say. Rome's cleared up over here as well. If he did this so much earlier, um, they would have forced them back so much earlier and probably taken a lot less casualties. Just charging into one choke point never goes well. You might have the strongest army in the world in the case of like Rome, but you'll still die. Um, just a couple of units of hoplites and some archers, or some pikes and some archers. Um, and. You'll die very quickly. But yeah, Ar Aridai's um, doing a good job here. Uh, Arverni's now having to send up his Oath Sworn. His most elite stuff now. And uh, Celtic Onager. That's what's going to strike fear into the hearts of these men. The Onager crew's here. They take some names. Look at them. Look at these guys. What are they doing? Why would you, why would you have to, like, fail as a... Honored your crew, just decide, yeah, let's become infantry. It'll work. But they are actually breaking some units here. I mean, this Axe Warrior unit's gone. They've broken a Lyrian Noble hop like finally. I think that's the first one they've broken. But look at this. Just as soon as they break one unit, two more appear. Um, a Lyrian Marine's now appearing. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Arvin is getting out of this entire area. His Oswan might kill a few more units, but that's it. Oh, this is huge. Median Cavalry's inside. But where to take it? You need to just attack on all fronts. Oh, they could get around here. They go around this way and up this way. They're Yeah, they're already defending the final defense. What have they got? More Colchian Nobles, I bet. Yeah. So many Colchian Nobles. I mean, it's a good unit to bring as uh, Colchis. It's the only good unit you bring. Um, but yes, yeah, so, I mean, that's all I can say really to it. I mean, what have they got here? Soccer Aquites. Yeah, that's not a bad unit of Cav. Rome, I'd start, if they're going to go and camp up there, I'd just Rome go over here and start taking out uh, Ariadai. Help her, uh, your ally. Leave them to camp at the top of that hill. That's a pretty nasty hill to go and take. But you're going to need, like, some of these Oswan. And also, if you take out Ariadai, who's got the biggest army left, you've probably got a better chance, because... You can go and attack that hill um, with Colchis and Bowie Eye on, but you fully well know that Aridai is going to beat the Arverni, and he's going to come with basically not a full army, but a good sized army, a pretty fresh army as well. So, as Rome has probably the strongest attacker left, I'll probably go in over here and help. I feel sorry for this Arverni player. I mean, uh, he sent the, he sent this in, <laughs> but he's he's having an absolute horrible time. Absolute horrible time. Um, but a very good defense by Ariadai. Obviously, again, it's kind of like the same as what happened with Rome. He's attacked through one real choke point. Like this is a naturally built. Well, it's not a naturally built choke point, but you're like he's put most of his siege towers here. And which is just basically a big sea, a uh, big choke point. Um, there's like a tiny bit over here, but again, this is being all cleared up, and this is just basically, it's like two choke points really, and that's it. Um, and Aridai is just a really strong faction, like so it's a very strong mid tier faction, probably one of the strongest, along with Bowie Eye, I'd say, probably one of the strongest. Bowie Eye is just a cheap Arverni. You don't get as many infantry unit, uh, many like 
not as big a roster, but you've got solid units and sword followers and you still have Oathsworn, so nothing to complain about there. Tyless is the only other one that I'd say is probably a really strong mid-tier faction. Here comes more Marines, <laughs> just in case you needed more. Um, there they are. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay, so Rome is engaging. It doesn't look like the Bowie Eye is actually going to let him go across and help if he was. But Medin Cab, just get behind and surround these guys. Um, this is a big mistake by Bowie Eye, sending out a unit just to attack here. This is, I mean, to Rome's favor. Currently, this unit's not going to win, but they can send in a couple more units. No, Medin Cab, get around, get around. Uh, no need. To, you're just charging to the back of the Romans. No, it doesn't do any damage, but it doesn't do you any good. Um, but I mean, yeah, look at that. Look at that front line. Oh, Romans chopping away at Celts. And there you go. The cavalry's going to actually get a good charge there. Oh, that's actually a devastating charge. Devastating charge. What's that done to the... Yeah, I mean, it's not actually killed that many. See, now it looks like Aridai's sending troops over. This helps um, the Arverni out a lot because, I mean, I don't think he's going to get through anyway. He's got three, four units in here. Yeah, it's going to be rough. I think, and it looks like either Bowie Eye, I thought Bowie Eye was sending more troops here and it's like, Bowie Eye. Arverni, does, uh, Aridai doesn't need any more troops. Oh uh, yeah, good cycle charges. It's not killing many men though. Um, these Median Cav aren't great for shock. They're better just staying in combat. He needs to round with an infantry unit, really. Rome's got plenty of them as well. He's just stuck back here. He needs to get his men close to the front so they can, re like, respond quicker. Oh, he's got... These are archers. Okay. Well, this is an Evercati unit. Might as well just go in here. But they're just going to condemn? I th yeah, I think the Aridai's going to just condemn this Bowie Eye unit. There's not a lot of teamwork from either side. Here we go. The unit is losing now. But, like, yeah, I mean, Rome's not really helped Arverni out. I guess why would you? Why would Romans help help dirty Celts? And the uh, Aridai is not going to help a Bowie Eye. Here comes another charge. He's going to watch him get cycle charged. Poor unit. I mean, he's throwing jabbies. Uh, I guess that's some sort of help. They're firing uh, some slingers down here. No bowmen. Yeah, okay, finally he's arrived. Now, yeah, if you're the Lyrian Marines, I get behind. Just get behind this uh, sword follower unit. Or you could surround the Romans. If you get behind the uh, sword followers, then you can probably uh, defend their rear. But no, kind of just in a weird side on charge. I think they were trying to get by and got stuck. Um, and then on this side, Rome has actually engaged. As expected, against Colkin Nobles. Actually... Yeah, they're actually beating the Colkin Nobles. Okay, that is a concern for Colchis. I thought they were winning early, but it's probably just because they had so much support from Arch Towers and Archers and other sword units. I was going to say, a sword unit should ro really be beating a, a spear unit, especially when it's a high-tier sword unit against a high-tier spear unit. But yeah, the Romans, if they engage this unit here, it's very much isolated on its own. And it's getting focused down by archers. But yeah, I mean, Rome's looking pretty good. Seleucus probably needs to actually do some offensive and actually help. He's got his pikes as well. He's got the pikes that are going to be needed to beat Ariadai. Um Oh yeah, what happened to Arverni's general? I thought he, he only came up here like two seconds ago. But yeah, there you go. Ari Aridai's beating Arverni. It was kind of expected. Look at the amount of bodies. He got nowhere, did Arverni. I feel sorry for the man. Like, at the same time, there was some things he did wrong. But, like, at the same time, he came up probably against the toughest of the three defenders. And the defender knew what he was doing. He had a plan. Oh, okay, Rome's going to do a charge in here. Yeah, again, it's melee cavalry against uh, infantry. Melee cavs. And it's good infantry, like it's, and this is medium tier against he uh, heavy, like me yeah, medium cavalry against heavy infantry. That's never gonna work. Um, certainly in a frontal charge, get some infantry up here, and you've got a chance. They just gotta.
push through here quickly. They've got to wade around. They can get around and they can get this capture point. There's a timer of 150, I presume. Yeah, they won over here on this flank. The Romans got pushed back. No surprise there. They basically didn't even really try it. They put a few, like, rubbishy units in here. But Seleucus needs to get up here with some pikes. Get some pikes up here. Break Colchis, his army. He's got his general in here now. Colchis is basically finished. He's got what's left of his army in here. It's down to Boei and um, Aridae. Which obviously rhyme. Sokai, Equite is trying to get by. They actually did find a gap. Some of them are going to get trapped. But that's really good by the Roman player. He can then get up onto this uh, little plateau up here. This little uh, hill. And he can certainly try and get some of these archers. But time is very much up against him. Oh my gosh. Out of nowhere appears like another force of Ariadai. Jeez, that was a really good charge though. Wow, that knocked over a lot. See, that's what happens when you go for the right sort of units. Like, this medium cavalry knocking over medium infantry in the shape of mercenary axe warriors. And obviously, these, it knocked over these slave slings as well. And it's effective doing that. Um, unfortunately, he's going to kill, like, two units of uh, slave slingers that have no ammo. And it's slave slingers. It's not really, like, the end of the end of the day if they... It's not the end of the world if they get killed. They're slaves. No one cares about their lives. But I think, yeah... Bringing cavalry was a bit... Certainly, when these two, these three factions came, Ariadai certainly was never going to bring any cavalry. So, I mean, Alverni did the good job of not bringing any. Um, and then Colchis has okay cav, but... To be honest, with Colchis, you don't know what to expect to appear. It could be anything. Um, yeah, Colchis has got okay cav, and then Bowie-Eye's got okay, pretty good cav as well. He's got a noble horse. Here we go, the pikes are coming. They're going to fall back. They're going to let them uh, come through, which is a bad mistake because they've condemned these units now. Yeah, um, if I was... i keep the pikes pushing forward. I'd have had the general unit flank. Um, but, they, yeah, they, I mean, they're just allowing the pikes to uh, just get inside now and they're going to flank these guys hard. They flank... They may, they may get flanked themselves, but they'll flank the pikes... But the Silver Shield Swords are actually not that great. I think you're better off bringing Peltasts. Because uh, they're cheaper. And they are basically the same in stats. They have the same stats. And you have more Javis. So there's a bit of a lesson for you. Silver Shield Swords, Silver Shield swords aren't that great. Well, they're not... Like, they're elite. And you're like, oh, whoa, these are the most elite unit of swords. But you can probably bring... Royal Peltasts, and they'll probably do just as good a job, if not a better job. Because look, these Silver Shield Swordsmen have done pretty awful most of this battle. They really need to, like, differentiate those two units. I know, obviously, CA yeah, is probably not going to come back to it and go, oh, yes, Pope said this, and we'll, we'll act on this. But, um, because I don't think they're really going to alter Rome 2. It's pretty complete. It's a good game, I, in my opinion. But, yeah, like, that's one thing that it's not broken, but it's just like, what's the point in this unit? It's basically the same as the Royal Peltasts. Does the same job. And it just costs more. And it has less Javis. Which Javis in this game are pretty nasty. Romans are finally sending over more troops. I get these cavalry out of here. This, it's melee cav, yeah, but melee cav front on is never a good idea. But, I mean, Aridai, yeah, he's now just doing some great some moves. He's going to... I'd probably just go around here. He could probably break through this little gap here. But, I mean, Rome and the Seleucids... Yeah, they've kind of... Uh, they'd lost, I think, when they committed so many troops into that choke point there and this choke point here. They lost too many men early on. We have archers in here now for Seleucids. That's a real bad sign. But... I mean, yeah, the Oswan are now beating these Evercati, which they probably would. Um, Oswan are a lot more expensive than the Evercati. I'll, I'll, they've got lime green cloaks. I was going to say I like it, but I'm actually going to take it back. I'm not sure if I like this lime green sort of thing Bowie Eyes Oswan are going for. But we'll see. See what happens. I think it's basically cleared up. I think the uh, the 
The Romans and Toulouse has got too much to push to do. I, I feel for the Alverni. He kind of didn't let his team down, but didn't kill enough of the Ariadai to make this a close battle. Like, I think the Romans had done a really... And the, the Romans certainly did a really good job over here against um, Colchis. And he did mediocre here against uh, Colchis and Bowie. He killed a lot of his... He lost a lot of his men, but they killed a lot. And Seleucus did okay here, but since his entire army went into this one choke point, it definitely wasn't worth it. He needs to land more stuff over here. Um, yeah. He only brought a couple of siege towers, which is a silly mistake as well. Always bring about five or six siege towers so you can land in multiple spots. Even if you don't use them all initially, that's actually not a bad idea. You always maybe leave, keep maybe one in reserve so you can then just flank with it. Like if there's a fight on a wall or something, you can flank and then flank a unit. Or if there's an area of the wall that's not defended, you then uh, attack that bit of the wall with that uh, siege tower and then you're in yes these poor archers are just gonna just run onto the Colkian uh, nobles spears and just die I mean they've got pikes in it now but which will have some relative success but it's just a moment matter of time until they get flanked which is currently happening um, we've got sword followers here fighting Persian light uh, archers I would be if I was the Sokia Equites I wouldn't care about capturing this. Just run into the back of these sword followers. And the general's getting focused down. He's not even realised, I don't think, the Rome player. Poor you, poor man. He's just standing there. Um, what's holding... Okay, we've got a small unit of Evercarty holding back an entire army of Aridai as well. And there you go. Huge chain route on that front line. I presume um, Seleucus may have lost his general, or he's certainly in a bad spot. Um, no wonder he's wavering. And there you go. Seleucids are gone. And Rome is about to go as well. He's just about to have a chain around. I think Rome's lost his general. Oh, he didn't actually. Wow. No, I don't... Th I think the only one that lost his general then was Arverni. I... Well, the Seleucid general I don't think is made out of there alive. But, um... He didn't lose him, like, for his army to break, if you get what I mean. And here we go. The final stand of the, uh, Evercarty. Brave men, the Evercarty, bless them. They've done well. And there you go, they break. And uh, that's that's going to be the battle, I think. There's not much uh, less. I don't know left. I don't know what's still standing. Oh, it's some cavalry. Please just break that cavalry. There we go. A costly enemy victory. I'd probably say it was. It was quite close in the end. Um, if I think if um, the Aridai had been lower in troops, it would have been even closer. But thanks to drunk no uh, the Drunk Norwegian peasants sending this in. Jeez, I just butchered that. Thank you, Drunk Norwegian, for sending this in. I'll, there we go. Second attempt we managed that. Playing as the Arverni. Um, his Oathsworn, obviously doing the best. 253 kills. Um, his, his artillery actually doing quite well. 177. I was kind of surprised. Didn't think it did this well. He certainly could have done with opening up a choke point, I think, instead of um, attacking like over the walls uh, so, and not using all his ammo on just killing infantry is chosen uh, swordsman did not do so great I, they got outmatched by Illyrian nobles um, best one getting like 118 crazy spartan another uh, sub and guy that's in a lot of videos um, so good to see him playing here uh, 277 kills with the silver shield swordsman which actually is very good but I think he would have got the similar sort of kills with royal peltas I'm not saying that it was a bad decision for him to bring them I'm just thinking could have done himself a favour and bring in um, a slightly cheaper and slightly similar unit. Um, and then his Thorax Swords a 100 kills. It's not great. The rest got like... I mean, that one's not bad, but the rest got absolutely destroyed by like Jabbies. Hillman, I wouldn't even bother bringing. I would have probably just brought like another unit of like... I would have brought like some Thoros Spears or something like that. Cavalry, I wouldn't bother bringing. Um, Persian Light Archers did okay. 175 kills isn't awful. And his Pike's going to get 94 kills, which is... Uh, probably not that great. It's not that great, really. They're a bit subpar. And then uh, Anuma Malala. Oh, God, I'm definitely going to butcher that name. I tried, anyway. There you go. I tried. Um, bring in, obviously, Rome. Probably the best out of all the attackers. Um, 318 kills with his Evercarty here. Wow. A lot of them getting a 200. That's, see, that's what Evercarty can do. Um, again, certainly against some units that are not... Uh, some factions that aren't as good. His cavalry actually getting 122 kills. It's not bad in his archers. He only brought three range. Um, I don't know what the rules were, um, but most of the, most of the players brought four, so I probably would have brought that extra range unit into the cavalry, uh, especially when 
no one else brought cavalry for the defenders. Um, but yeah, I'd say he, he did probably the best out of them. You can see he got 3,000 kills. Wow, he basically got what the other two players got combined. Um, but anyway, so well done to him. And then Colkis, who's played by Sol Deno, um, did very well with his Colkin Nobles, uh, getting 186 kills, 174. I'll have to try out Colkis at some point. They seem to be pretty good in the defense. they got some good Nobles, obviously. Um, Axman did okay. Uh, Cartley Axman getting 165. Axman getting 136. His Sling is getting 100 kills, which isn't bad for Slingers. Um, and then Yerv, who was playing as the Aria die, probably did the be was the best uh, defender by kills. Um, did very well. 303 kills with Illyrian Nobles. 286 with another. Lo a couple others getting over near to 200 or 200. Mercenary Axe Warriors getting 189 kills. Very good. Mercenary Peltas getting 107. Um, and Slave Sling is getting 81. It's not actually bad. And then Jamie Lannister was here, apparently. Jamie Lannister was here, playing as the Bowie Eye. Uh, getting 135 kills with his uh, sword faults. Actually, that one getting 233. That's excellent. Um, his actuary is getting 130 kills. His Oath Swarm getting 187 and 179. Very good. And his uh, Celtic Bowman getting 113 kills, which isn't atrocious at all. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Rome 2 Siege Battle. If you did, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, let's try and get to 1,400 subs. And leave a comment if you enjoyed as well. And I don't know, just to show your support to the channel. Um, do appreciate them all and would love to see what you think about this battle. And in, anyway, Legionnaires, until next time, I will see you guys later.